All right, this video is to show how this part-time shaft kit works. This is an NP203 cast iron transfer case out of a GM. All right, anyway, basically what the shaft kit does right here, as you can see, it's one continuous forged shaft. What it does is it replaces this, which is the internal differential mechanism. The plastic is kind of hard to tell, but you can see it's got little spider gears in it. And it rides on that shaft right there. And then this part of the shaft goes right into the spider gears like that. So it'll look just like that pretty much. And as you can see, it's got a couple of um, about 10 or 10 or 12 um, needle bearings in there. They're pretty big, but when you take this case apart, you have to make sure that you don't drop these inside the case, which is really easy not to do because all you have to do is just be careful with it. Anyway. So what this shaft kit does is it replaces that internal differential with a solid shaft. This allows you to get two-wheel drive low range and makes it part-time four-wheel drive. So you have two-wheel drive high as opposed to full-time four-wheel drive high. And uh, the kit's very easy to install. Um, you just take off the yoke first. And when you take off the yoke, you have to remember, don't forget this washer when you put it back together. Also, there's this little rubber ring, and it slides on the end of the splines right here, and it's got these little grooved teeth in it. And uh, that's the oil seal for the the tail, so you want to make sure that, that's, that you remember to keep that. So once that cone comes off, which is this one right here, you can see it houses the speedometer gear. It also has a tail shaft seal on it and a bearing. So you take that off. You don't you don't need a gasket for that because it's an O-ring seal. So you're actually all set with that. Anyway, so once that's off, then what you're going to encounter is this right here. What is what you're first going to see is this. It's an end play shim. Usually there'll be a couple of these. My truck only had two. It had this very thick one and it had a very very thin uh, crush washer. Now most trucks I've heard have a lot more than that, so I don't know if my tolerances were just real tight in this case or what the deal was. But usually you start with about half of that pack when you put it back together. But that's not really important right now. Then that comes off, then the speedometer drive gear comes off, and then this cover right here comes off. That's what you'll see when you get to there. It's got a gasket seal on it. Just slide that back. And then you're ready to pull off the differential and shaft pieces and put on your new your new shaft and it just slides right over there's splines on there just slides right on reverse you put this back on over it that'll cover that and uh, this shaft already has the replacement uh, the replacement plastic oil drive gear on it so that's all set so then this housing slides over that then this goes on then the crucial part which is getting these end play shims right You'll probably have to take it apart and put it together a couple times to set this right. Uh, they don't really give you an accurate uh, dial indicator range for the end play on the shaft. You just kind of have to do it by feel a couple times. So what that involves is putting like about half the shims on, putting this cone back on, tightening up a couple of these bolts so it's nice and tight, and then just pulling on the shaft in and out like that. And you should be able just to feel a little bit of play, but you shouldn't actually be able to see it moving. So then once you have that all set, everything goes back together. These bolts get torqued down to about 30 foot-pounds, and then the yoke goes to 150. And that's pretty much how you swap out a full-time MP203 to a part-time conversion with the shaft kit. It's really, really easy. Underneath the truck, it'd probably take you about two hours, depending on how fast you work out of the truck I mean it only took me less than three minutes to take this apart so not a big deal so what I'm gonna do now there we go it's off this one worked perfectly it never slipped or popped gear or anything like that um, it's exactly how I got it it, it had that little bit bit of bearing discoloration right there it was already on it and I noticed that this ridge in here was a little worn but I believe that's just how it works with the collar this collar right here and how it slips onto these little spline shafts this spline ring it never gave me any trouble um, 
and it, it worked really good. So that's the NP203 uh, spline shaft in the install. Pretty straightforward. So.